and honey. So I don't know where my little mallet is. So y'all already know this drill. There's no, no singing bowl today, honey. <laughs> hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Taurus. How are you doing? Today, I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading, which I... Hello, my beautiful Taurus. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading for your zodiac sign, Taurus. Now, I also do your weekly tarot reading for you versus them, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point, Taurus. But when it comes to any of my tarot readings, Taurus, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, Taurus. I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. And Taurus, if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below how it does. Uh, let me know which cards resonate with you and how they do, because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments. And if you do find some tarot cards that resonate with you, I'd really appreciate it for you to take the extra time for me, Taurus, to give me a like and subscribe to support my tarot channel, because it does help out me. It does help me out a lot, rather, and I was in, I just appreciate it when you guys take that extra step to do that for me um because i know y'all don't have to taurus uh and then finally taurus remember when it comes to any of my tarot readings or in my opinion any tarot reading um they shouldn't be making the decision for you tarot readings tarot cards are just here to give a perspective for you to consider as you go throughout your week um some food for thought right so keep that in mind the final decisions yours to make because it's your life to live not mine so with all that said taurus let's get into this general weekly reading for you so i always like to start it out with an oracle card taurus and so yours is from picking i picked from the animal oracle deck rather and yours is the deer spirit number 18 equaling to nine for numerology so write that down to look up later taurus to see how that correlates the number nine correlates with your tarot reading but this dear spirit says bring a gentle touch so we'll definitely deep dive into this of what this is really entailing because when you just hear the word like here just bring a gentle touch this is like okay to what um and so i feel like getting into this it's almost talking about the matters of um your emotions perhaps taurus i'm getting just because of the other two tarot cards that i pulled for you Taurus, we have the Eight of Discs as well as the Nine of Cups coming in for you under the umbrella of the Deer Spirit. So when it's asking you to bring a gentler, more gentle touch rather, Taurus, I can't like, it's addressing these two cards and the Nine of Cups is the representation of um, self-happiness, more so being able to, um, this is like a card usually Taurus, uh, someone who's feeling pretty just content with their emotional needs being met. They are, you know, this doesn't have to be, you have to be in a relationship or anything like that. But it's just like you're feeling stable, you're feeling secure in um, the connections that you have, the emotion, and just, you know, overall like emotional stability. Um, just pretty, um, just some happiness. Now, with this Eight of Discs or the Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, this is a card of learning. This is a card of... Um, elevating yourself more so when you have it with this pairing it's almost like Taurus that you could kind of take from this it's like what can we say it's perhaps there's like a relationship or some type of social relationship in your life platonic or romantic obviously it doesn't matter Taurus um that there's maybe a little bit of insecurity on your side about or maybe it's about the other person Taurus maybe there's been a little bit of conflict between some social situations in your life and that you're being asked to bring a more gentle approach to it because um perhaps this is just a way of bringing closure to the situation or perhaps like the person that you might be having like a little bit of a tiff with um has a little bit of remorse, right? And we'll get into it when we get into the social aspect of your reading, Taurus, of course. But, um, you know, it's, I guess it's more so fit that gentler touch and how it's appropriate for you. Are you being a little bit rough on yourself? Feeling as if maybe, you know, you feel as if like you should be further along in your um, relationships in your life. Maybe you feel like a little, maybe for my Tauruses that are single that have been craving love for a long time. Um, you're being a little bit rough on yourself. Maybe you're saying to yourself being like, oh, like I'm not getting love in my life because I'm not good enough in some type of way. I'm not attractive enough. I'm not um, at a certain weight. And, you know, whatever narrative that you tell yourself, Taurus, um, there's something in your life in some type of social aspect or in your emotional needs that you might have a little bit of a cynical isn't the word for it, but just like a little bit 
a little bit more rough, I guess, Taurus. And then I felt drawn to just pull a couple more tarot cards for this just general spread of things. And we pulled three, actually. I said a couple, but I meant three. Um, and interestingly enough, um, we pulled the tower card. So definitely, Taurus, like, we pulled the tower card. We pulled the nine of cups again for you as well, Taurus, and the nine of wands. Truly, Taurus, how many nines came out for you? Like, you had the nine in the numerology from the deer spirit, um, nine of cups. You had the twice, nine of wands. Nine is following you, Taurus. So truly, like, I know I say this for a lot of my readings whenever a number comes forward, Taurus. I really do feel like the number nine, there's a message in the number nine for you in some type of way for this week. So truly, let, let me know um, what you and entails because I don't even off the top of my head know what the numerology of nine is the representation of. Um, so really interesting but let's get back to this tower card here um, because I know this is probably like what's intimidating to some of you Tauruses. This is actually kind of refining the message a little bit Taurus because the nine of um, cups coming in here there's some dissatisfaction when it comes to I just there is just some type of dissatisfaction going on Taurus and I don't know if you're having some dissatisfaction with yourself I say with yourself, um, with yourself, Taurus, or if you're having some dissatisfaction with some other party members involved. I really do get the sense, though, that it is about yourself, Taurus, just because of the Nine of Wands here. Definitely let me know what you think as well, because the Nine of Wands is usually like a, this card will usually step forward for somebody when they're about to be going on a little bit of a journey by themselves for a little bit. So what I mean by this, Taurus, is that, um, it's kind of like one of those periods where it's just like you're not going to have a lot of people around because there's like some type of lesson that's like only meant for you sort of thing. So the, usually the feelings that will might occur during this time, you might be experiencing some abandonment issues during this week, Taurus. You might be experiencing just like um, just feeling like the world's not really out to support you right now, um, just making your life a little bit more difficult. But don't internalize it, I guess is what I'm saying. If you're internalizing this and you're being rough on yourself, Taurus, don't do not do that. That's just sabotaging yourself. Um, have a kind of view about it. Now, if this is about like maybe you guys, you, you know, this could easily paint into a situation of where uh, Taurus, you got into a tiff with somebody. I don't know why tiff is like my word. I don't know where I got it from Taurus, but um, maybe you got into a tiff with somebody and now, you know, with that nine of wands, you're just like, okay, like you want to separate yourself. You're just like, okay, time to just like go out on my own. You're just like, you know, it's almost like for some of you Tauruses, you washed your hands clean of some type of situation. It doesn't have to be like a, I'm not getting like a conflict Taurus, but more of like a, um, just like this sense of wanting to just be done with something after some type of action happened, or maybe lack of action. No, I feel like an action happened, but that tower moment, a definite action happened that kind of disrupted things. Um, and it feels like after that tower moment, you're kind of just like, okay, done with it. Um, I'm not going to tell you what to do, Taurus, of course, but I would just say, look at it a little bit deeper. There's a reason as to why that uh, dear spirit came forward asking you to um, have a gentler touch. So. I'm going to like rest my case there, Taurus, because I feel like you guys kind of like get the point at this point, right? I don't need to repeat myself anymore. So let's start getting into your actual rows now, Taurus. So how this works when it comes to my tarot readings, Taurus, my general tarot readings, I like to, to do, excuse me, I like to do a row for my Tauruses interested in uh, your, um, your wealth, your career, finances, all that jazz. Taurus, and then I like to do a row just strictly for your social situations. This could be platonic or romantic, right? Um, just your social situations. And then we like to, I like to do just some final thoughts and final cards, um, to see if there's like any like last messages, something to be closed off when it comes to the reading. Um, but yeah, Taurus, let's start out with your finance, uh, your financial situation, your career, um, your passion projects, right? Let's start with that and see what's up with that, my Taurus. So, uh, the three starting cards that we have for you, Taurus, is the Nine of Pentacles. Nine is really following you, as well as, um, yeah, just nines are just following you, Taurus. So, Nine of Pentacles coming in. King of Wands as well. And the Six of Swords comes in. What an interesting dynamic, Taurus, because with this, this is letting me know, this is like painting a storyline of somebody, um... Taurus, for some of you guys, there's like this sense of uh, either wanting to put like a pin on something. You're just like, maybe there's like a project that you're just like, oh, let's put a pin on this. Let's like uh, get back into this later. And, you know, going back to the drawing board or, you know, this almost like 
there's a little bit of insecurity here. So let me just break down the meanings of these cards for you, Taurus. So the Six of Swords, it's kind of like moving on. Not necessarily moving on, but kind of getting some distance, putting some distance, and you don't know quite yet if it's official or not. No, nothing set in stone, right? But right now, there seems to be like some distance, right? Where you're just like, eh, taking it back. And with that distance, I have a sneeze coming up, Taurus, honey. Ah, what is that thing that you do when you're trying to avoid a sneeze? Banana? <laughs> oh, wait, I guess it's, honey, I guess, I don't, I guess saying banana works. I remember hearing about that, like where you just say banana or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. But uh, anyways, back to your reading, Taurus, I apologize. Uh, with this Nine of Pentacles and this King of Wands, it's almost like for some of you Tauruses, you might have felt like you have fallen flat on your face a little bit when it comes to your project, where it's just like you went forward with something and in the hopes of it being um, helping you in your self-sufficiency. And then there's just like with the Six of Swords, um, you kind of fell flat on your face or you're just like hoping that the payout was sooner. Or this could be one of two ways, right? This is a situation of where it's just like you're having to leave something like your comfort zone so like that disabled job tours and you're interested into it. I don't see quite too much action yet. You're interested into dabbling into this new project of some sort. So let's pull some clarifiers, see what's up um, with this. What's going on Taurus with these cards? <clears throat> really interesting reading though. Let's see, these cards are coming out. This one wanted to come out as well. All right. This one come on. Yeah, yeah, this one won't come on. It's a good card too. <laughs> Y'all like how I'm having these separate conversations just with myself. So the clarifiers that came out for you. Wow, a lot of intense cards. We have the magician card that is the extra card that wanted to come out for you, Taurus, which is the magician's beautiful card to have. This active manifestation. This is kind of like a seems to be this theme of um proactive action. Is that the word for it? Being a lot of proactiveness when it comes to this project of some sort. Um, a lot of, uh, in the, with the intent of creating. I also want to point out the back of the deck energy is the six of wands as well, Taurus. So definitely is that it is a victory. That is some type of victory in regards to projects and in, in regards to um, manifesting. And the three other cards that we pulled is the moon card, the knight of wands, as well as the page of swords. So. This Knight of Wands, honey, this is kind of like a mini chariot. This is like the chariot. I always like to refer to the Knight of Wands as like the chariot that's inside of you, Taurus. And what I mean by this is like something in you. This is kind of like this calling of like pushing out into the unknown, right? With this moon card where it's just like you are going to, there is like this sense, Taurus, for my Tauruses that I really want you to do some type of project that gets into this Nine of Pentacles moment. Um, you're gonna have to take a risk. You're gonna have to like go out into uncharted territories where you can't quite see that far ahead of you. And it has to be going within, um, Taurus of getting that drive. Cause I'm not, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not gonna, I'm not seeing a, um, immediate payout for you, Taurus. If you were to do this, like I'm not seeing it overnight happening. Um, Page of Swords comes in with the Justice card. This is interesting because this is like a dynamic of, um, things coming into balance but like in regards to like i feel like this is almost like your mental state taurus i get this sense taurus of where um maybe you're being critical of yourself even during this uh, partly during this journey as well when it comes to um getting to this nine of pentacles that by you being a little bit critical of yourself that's almost like it's like i don't know i feel like there's like this sense of with that nine of wands journey um, that we were talking about, Taurus, I get the sense that this week you're really going to, like a spotlight's really going to be shined on like the self-deprecation nature that you might have with yourself or just like, I don't know. I just feel like you're not being kind to yourself. It sounds like such a weird message, Taurus, but like, I feel like a lot of you Tauruses are really hard on yourself when it comes to like your career and your finances. And I feel like this is a week of where you look at that. You look at that, the behaviors that you have with yourself and the language that you have with yourself and how you speak of yourself when it comes to your, you know, your work situation, Taurus. So enough of that. I just want to say, yeah, I see it good when you take action on it, but I feel like that what's blocking you from taking action is like some type of overcriticalness of yourself. 
Um, maybe you just feel like you should be better than you are, but I feel like you're just being hard on yourself. So I'm closing that out, Taurus. We're going to get into the social situations um, for my Tauruses this week through tarot cards. So let's see now. I pulled out for you Ace of Cups, Seven of Swords, and then Six of Pentacles. So, Taurus, I'm gonna, uh, this is kind of like reflecting, Taurus, of someone that feels like they opened their heart up to somebody. Like, it's almost like some type of, whether it's you or the other person, someone, like, opened their heart up. And they're hoping for, like, an exchange of communication, uh, like, an exchange of, like, you know, almost like mirroring, I guess, Taurus, where it's just like, you open your heart up, Taurus, and you're expecting that to be reciprocated. And instead, Seven of Swords seems to have what happened in this, where it's just like, disappointment i guess Taurus. there's like a level of disappointment so it leads me to believe that it wasn't actually reciprocated in some way again i just want to remind you it doesn't have to be romantic but it's almost just like you shot your shot with somebody Taurus, or you're hoping someone would match your energy almost and it doesn't feel like they matched you in some way so let's see some clarifiers mm four cards again for you. Interesting though. Really interesting these cards that are coming out for you, Taurus. We have the devil card coming in under your ace of cups. Now, Taurus, this is almost like, how do I put this, Taurus? This is giving me like this impression of where your biggest, we'll call it like your biggest fault, is the sense of maybe a little bit too inviting of other energies. Maybe a little bit, or opening up to the wrong people, we'll say or how you go about opening up to them. There could be like a little bit of refinement. With this Three of Wands, it's giving me like this impression of um, a little bit of codependency when it comes to this person, of some type of person, because I feel like you're associate, associating a lot of your stability um, in your life or associate, like you're putting too much of the power in their hands, almost, Taurus, so where it's just like, I don't know. I get this sense that not that they have something over you, Taurus, but it's almost like you really just want to make it work with this person. And if because like, so you open your heart up, well, really, you wear your heart on your sleeve with them because they're not receiving it. And because you almost like put them on like this pedestal almost, Taurus, or where you just think highly of them, um, it impacts, it impedes, like it affects you greatly. And this Ace of Cups coming in twice for you. And I just want to say Ace of Wands as well as in the back of the deck energy. Um... It's just interesting, Taurus, in that I just get this sense of where it's just like you're opening, like you're wearing your heart out on your sleeve and expecting some type of person to match you. And I just feel like there's something like something that like someone's just not matching you. And I feel like it's just taking a lot more of a toll than it should on you. Not that like your feelings aren't valid, Taurus, but it's just almost like from like a personal opinion, right? This is my where I'm projecting. It's just I just I don't like seeing so it seems like you're associating a lot of your happiness or like someone has a lot of control almost over how over your happiness in the sense that not necessarily that they themselves are like telling you to be happy or be unhappy but it's like through the actions or the lack of actions through some person that actually like from someone that you really respect and care about bothers you it just like they don't mirror you or they don't act in the way that you would want and so that bothers you in some way. And I feel like, I just don't, I don't know. I feel like through them not taking action or taking action on in a way that isn't in your best interest, it impacts you greatly. And I just don't like having, I don't like seeing that in somebody. Like, I don't like when someone, um, like when your happiness is associated with somebody else's decisions and choices. That's just not a good thing, right? It shouldn't be the case. So final cards for you, my Taurus. We have the Nine of Cups coming in with the Death and Rebirth card and the Seven of Wands. Now, Taurus, really closing out this reading, um, it does seem to be your Nine of Cups because <laughs> this is the third time your Nine of Cups has come out, uh, Taurus. So definitely, it seems to be the happiness comes in through this sense of... Um, closure of something closing things out with this death cycle or death and rebirth cycle closing th cycles out closing out things that are just not meant to match you anymore and i just do get this sense with the seven of wands um this is more of like an energy of like letting go of things that are just not helping you along or pushing you along towards your goals this is like really just asking this is a week of really letting go of things that are um 
giving you resistance, Taurus. So if it's like with people, if they're resisting trying to be part of your life, take that as a sign and be like, you know what? No hard feelings. Don't internalize it, Taurus, right? You remember what I said. Don't internalize it, but keep it moving, right? Um, don't open your, up your heart. Don't take this as a sign. Like when people don't receive you or when situations don't receive you in the way that you would like, Taurus, don't take that as a sign that you need to open up more because I just get the sense that you're opening up to not necessarily the wrong people, no, I am going to say that. I feel like this, like, no, I don't get that, actually. I don't feel like you're opening yourself up to the wrong people. I feel like there's just expectations that you have of them that it just isn't uh, congruent with where it is that you're trying to go. And it just doesn't, I just feel like you deserve better. There's, like, this sense of where it's, like, overall, you deserve better. So anything that's not spoiling you in that sense, towards let go of it. Stop allowing these outside situations to really weigh you down. So... Yeah, that's the reading that I have for you, Taurus. If you enjoyed this, be sure to give this reading a like and subscribe. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for allowing me to do this tarot reading for you. Let me know um, which cards resonate with you, and then be sure to share my readings with a friend that you think might be enjoying messages. Until next time, Taurus, I love you so much. Bye.